Yes, you can even beat GPT-40 when you combine multiple language models. I'm talking about a recently developed solution called Mixture of Agents, which combine multiple open source language models to respond to your prompts rather than just one language model. Exactly like us as human, we outperform when we come as a team with different skills and capabilities. So through this mixed rough agents architecture, we're gonna achieve much more better results when we combine multiple open source language models. So if you wanna give it a try, then let's go. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, here it is, mixture of agents. This is actually a paper just got published on June 2024, which is a novel idea about how we can combine multiple LMs or potentially a smaller language models to accomplish a task that can enhance large language model capabilities. And of course, kudos to the team who have came up with this and have, they have developed that, so we're gonna give it a try. But going to their blog, which is proposed by together.ai, here's the idea. As you can see in this chart, we have different boxes with different colors, blue, red, yellow. You can consider each color as a different language model. Uh, let's say A1 here is Llama, for instance. Then the red one, A2, is DBRX. So we have one layer of three different language models that we have our prompt going to each of them differently. And they will obviously have an output. Then the output of this layer will go to the second layer, which is maybe the same models or different models, but repeat or being used again from the initial output to generate another output. And the same thing happened again with the same models or different type of models in layer three. And finally, in layer four, we have an aggregator language model that will receive the uh, refined outputs from all these steps which came to the last layer to give you the final answer. So the idea is, I will have a variety of different language models and as you know all these open source models they come with their own pros and cons they are capable of on a specific task specific domains or they they have shortcomings on other type of tasks so when we combine them together through this architecture they have proven that it will significantly improve the performance for giving an example with mixture of not expert mixture of agents which is the idea we just talked about they leverage several open source models to achieve a score six five point one percent on Alpaca evaluation, which is a benchmark, and surpassing surpassing prior leader GPT four O with fifty seven point five percent, and that's a significant number. We cannot really say that this is a small improvement. So that's certainly worth to check. What is exactly is enabling this, and how we can actually try that out. So they started to did a, do a benchmark on if we use a mixture of agents how much our performance will be better compared to just using one single model so here as you can see in this chart if let's say we go with just llama 3 by itself that yellow bar shows the performance based on the benchmark they have implemented by alpaca eval but if we use llama inside a mixture of agents with potentially other models the performance going to be considerably perform uh, improved and the same thing for all different type of open source models dbrx mixture all bizarre cube and so on and so forth so that's a success by itself and the way they are proposing this solution is they consider some of the models as proposers so proposers are those initial models in initial layers that they propose uh, an answer to a given prompt right because of the capability and performance, those are chosen as proposers. And then there are some models that we consider them as aggregators. These models, they aggregate the answer of any previous layer's proposers to come up with a final high quality response to give it back to the user or to go to the next layer. And they iteratively do this again and again by calling proposers and aggregators. So what they have done, they for initial tests, they have created mixture of agents with using six open source models that we named that on the chart and then they have actually tried that out uh, 
mixture of uh, agents with different set of proposers and even they have benchmarked that using gpt 4 o as the final aggregator with some other open source uh, proposers finally they want to check if we can have this multiple layer based mixture of expert uh, sorry mixture of agents uh, shall we use just one type of model let's say using llama in all layers multiple times to propose refine itself propose and then aggregate versus using llama with multiple other large language models to come up with the answer in different layers uh, number and they ended up seeing that always when you combine multiple type of a language model you get better responses which sort of makes sense also for humans are the same we when we come as a team, each person in a team has different expertise and capabilities. When we aggregate our talents and skills, we always outperform. So that's the same thing with the capabilities of language models when we go with the mixture of agents approach. Okay, so let's see how we can give it a try. They have already added that in GitHub repo. I'm going to add this to the Discord channel in the video and the link of Discord channels under video section below. Go to the Discord channel. And there is a section called... Uh, references click on it you will see the link of this github repo so technically they have explained what i just talked to you about and what you need to do just download or clone this github uh, repository as i did you can just download or use git and then you have to have a uh, together api key you can go to just to the website together.ai and create an account there you will get an api and you will get some free credits and then you need to just install the requirement which is coming from this text file which is here there are just, I think, four or five different type of packages you need to install. Obviously, OpenAI, if you want to use GPT-4 as an aggregator, as we discussed. And then lastly, just run Python bot.py. That's the live demo that you can start asking some questions. So let me show you how I did that on my site. All right, here it is. After downloading this repository and running pip install, I wanted to run Python bot.py, which is actually the local directory that I have here. And it started to ask me a couple of questions that what main model do you want to use the default is this so i hit enter i didn't change it so it was selected for me then it asked me the temperature then it asked me the max token that it actually truncated my answer because i went with default but you can increase it obviously then i asked that give me 10 functions where the x value will be equal to 10.2 i did it on purpose because that's a tough question for lm special when we deal with math i wanted to see how it actually performed so it perfectly gave me gave me um as you can see it is actually querying multiple models as proposers and aggregators i had some errors on the the, the rate limit for the api which is fine i just tried that out it worked and then as you can see it gave me some functions and it put the value x 10.2 to that function and sort of worked well i didn't actually check all if values are correct but i wanted to make it more tough so i went all the way and asked that give me functions that if we resolve them the value of x will be 10.2 so the same thing it went through all those uh, mixture of agents couple of models that we have there you can see here dbrx qn mixture all. and then it actually worked pretty well so you can see that I have some functions that if we resolve that the value of x will be 10.2 so this is the simplest one this is a little bit more tough so on and so forth and it has also uh, all different variety of different type of mathematical functions that if you resolve the value would be 10.2 again I didn't give it a try to make sure that all these um, resolve functions are correct but it seems to be working pretty well and it truncated my answer because of max token that's why I didn't generate 10 but it was very easy to give it a try and i think the idea is pretty novel and based on the benchmark they have done it certainly worth to give it a try the only caveat is obviously when you deal with multiple models you have to be cautious about the cost of maintaining and, and deploying those models second uh response time because you are dealing with multiple models and each of them they have different speed so far with my test it was okay but obviously that's a good next step research approach on how you can make this um uh, solution faster with leveraging some open source models like Rook that they are very fast in their response time. All right, that was all about this video, and I hope you enjoyed. If yes, I would be very thankful if you click on like button below and make sure you write down your comments, which I always welcome, and community will enjoy to know your thoughts about it. Thank you. So Sometimes, much. when you're in a dark place, you think you might have been buried, but actually, 
you have been planted. Dream big, my friends, believe in yourself and take action. Till the next video, take you with care.